A lot of you guys have been asking the type of products that we use. Yeah, so today we're going to show you everything we use to put our makeup on and what we use to take it off. Every morning before I put any makeup on my face, I make sure I put some block on. And I use Neutrogena's Sport Face, and this has 70 plus SPF in it. For my foundation, I use Maybelline's Fit Me Foundation, and it is in the shade 130. And um, I, this was the first foundation that I got. Prior to this, I didn't wear any, and um, I think it's okay. It's got like a dewy finish, but um, I spent like $7 on it anyway, so I'm just kind of like <laughs> using it up. And I'm almost done with it, so um, if you guys have any recommendations for any future foundations I should use, um, leave it on the, the comments box. For my dark spots, I like to use Sephora Concealer, and um, I would say it's got pretty decent coverage. Um, this is in the shade Medium Camel. For powder, I use Sephora's... Um, Mattifying foundation. This is in medium beige and yeah, I just swirl my brush around it and I just put it all over my face. I use uh, Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion as a primer on my lids and it came with my Naked palette. That's the only reason why I have it. So I recently just got the Naked palette and it is amazing. I love it. Um, the, the colors that I tend to use the most are um, Virgin for my highlighter and Buck and Naked for my lids, and then for like the shading outside my, I guess like the outer thirds of my eyes, I use um, Smog and Dark Horse. And the rest of the colors I just kind of play around with because um, I've never actually played around, I, I don't play around with makeup too much, so this is really helping me experiment. But prior to that, I used to use Maybelline's Give Me Gold Eyeshadow, and as you can see, it's pretty torn up right now. Um, for the inner corners of my eyes, I use the second gold color. And um, yeah, honestly, it doesn't matter what you use in the inner corners, as long as it's got kind of like a gold shimmer, it's okay. Like before I used, before I got this, I used to use um, Physicians Formula Vegas Strip, like the very first um, color on top. And this is actually a bronzer, but I mean, it worked just as fine. And after, I like to line my eyes with um, Sephora's eyeliner, and it's just in noir black, and I just do a little cat eye. For lashes, I use the Falsies Volume Express, and it's okay. I prefer Maybelline's Stiletto better, but I mean, I'm just waiting until I finish this all so that I can buy a new one. And lastly, um, I use a highlighter on my face for like the like it's like the bridge of my nose and like my cupid's bow. And this is is by Clio Professional, and my mom gave this to me. I think my mom got this at like a Korean makeup store, and. It's cool, it's just like a, like, a, like a white highlighter color. And to wash all my makeup off, I, I either use Clearasol, but since I used that bottle, my mom got me this um, facial foam called Point, and it smells like green tea, and so far I like it, but usually I use Clearasol, so both of them work well. And to moisturize, I use this big tub of lotion called CeraVe. I think that's how you pronounce it, I have no idea. And the only thing I don't like about it is because it doesn't have a pump, but I have a little scraper thing that I use to take out all the lotion off. So that's good. I think they have just at, I think they have this at every drugstore. For my foundation, I just use Max. <laughs> I just use Max Studio Fix Fluid with SPF 15 because the people at the Mac counter told me that it was medium coverage and you could just layer it if you need like concealer, but it's not so light that it's like a tinted moisturizer. So it was perfect for what I needed, and my color is NC25. And I just apply it with a, uh, with a foundation brush, and I don't use any powders. And for eyeliner, I use Maybelline Ultra Liner Waterproof, and actually Jen recommended it to me because she used it a lot. And I uh, got sick of pencil liner, really, because it was smudging and it would fade, but this one stays on for a long time. And for mascara, I use CoverGirl's Lash Blast Fusion because I don't have any waterproof mascara and I really needed it this summer. It's okay, like it gives you volume and it separates your lashes, but my favorite is still gonna be Maybelline's Lash Stiletto. And this is like, I just have residual mascara in here, but it's still my favorite. I'm gonna get another one of these after this one runs out. For my daily eyeshadow, I use this Lancome color design and it's got like a four color palette, but I actually used up all of it except for the brown, which is 
the brown that I have on my eyes in our videos and there's also like a bronze color too which I blend into that so if you've seen some of our past videos where my eyeshadow is really prominent it's from this and for my cheeks um, sometimes I use this it's actually a MAC eyeshadow and the color is follow your fantasy I think it's discontinued though because I got it on sale but um, I, it was just an impulse buy and the color is kind of peachy and it has a little bit of brown and a little bit of like gold shimmer slightly and I put on my eyes but I feel like pink or peachy colors make me look like I have a rash so I was like hey I need peach on my cheeks not my eyes so it's converted into a blush for my everyday look I just use Burt's beeswax chapstick like that's all I need and for removal of my makeup I use these Beauty Pureful Makeup Cleansing Tissues. I'm really unfamiliar with the name because my mom just bought me some of these and I just, when I get home and I'm too tired, I just like open it up and there are these like wipes with the makeup remover and like cleanser on it and I just use that. Oh, it smells. <laughs> In the morning or when I shower, I use St. Ives Naturally Clear. And uh, I like it because it's exfoliating and um, I don't know, I think my skin feels better after that, even though it's, I use it every other day or every day or so, I don't like push too hard where it's going to scrape me or anything, but I feel really clean after this, and I remember compared to other cleansers, like, I would get breakouts, but this one works really well for me. To moisturize, I use Olay Active Hydrating Beauty Fluid. Um, I've been using this since I used to steal it from my mother's medicine cabinet. <laughs> And so I got older and I bought my own, but I like the original more than the total effects or whatever. The one with the SPF because I think this formula is thicker. So I like to wear this a lot at night um, before I go to bed. And my foundation has uh, sunblock anyway, so I don't really need it. Mm -hmm.